What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. Last week, we got some plants for our container garden for this year. And this week, we are putting them in the containers. Now, I was a little worried that we weren't going to be able to do a container garden this year. But Eric snuck out to Lowe's and got us some pepper plants and a few herbs. And um, so we're going to get to planting. So it's Wednesday. It's time to put together our container garden. All right, this is the contestants today here. We have five big Berthas. These are bell peppers. So we've got this guy, this guy, this guy, and then these two right here. We had these last year. I think we just had one plant and it was great. But this year, Amy wanted more of them because they did so well. These guys in the front are time. This guy is English time. And this guy over here is German time. We also had these last year and they did pretty good. Uh, but we weren't able to keep them over the winter. Two of these guys, one guy in the corner back here and this guy here, is just a regular green bell pepper. I don't know how big they're going to be compared to the big Berthas, but we'll find out, right? This guy over here is a sweet banana, so he'll be mild with a little bit of heat, but probably not much. Um, so he's just a chili pepper. We have two poblano peppers. Those, again, are mild. If they have heat, it's pretty close to zero. Um, this is a purple basil. I could not get sweet basil. This was like the last plant. So we'll see how this guy turns out. This guy here is just a green bell pepper. So he's similar to the two over there. Um, and then these guys over here are Anaheims. And I know these peppers all look the same right now until we get some fruit on them. But these also are relatively mild. So we didn't really get anything that's hot that's really gonna burn anybody's mouth. Um, so they should all be interesting. This is one of our pots from last year. All we did was pull the plant out. So we still got all the potting soil and some of the bark on the top. Uh, to save money, I wanted to go ahead and reuse the potting soil, but we need to refresh it a little bit with some new goodies, right? Uh, fresh potting soil comes with enough fertilizer in it for the growing season, but this is used, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, our pots and dump the dirt into this cart and then we're going to mix it with some new stuff. This is the goodies we're going to add to it. Soil conditioner which with high humus is good um, as the bulk filler, I suppose if that's what you want to call it. Um, it'll break down and it'll basically fertilize, you know, obviously naturally. We have some container mix over here on the right that we may need. I just bought one. It obviously has fertilizer built into it. On the far left, we have some mulch, which I found out does a great job to help retain moisture. You just put about an inch or two at the top and it'll help, especially when it gets in the hotter months. The two guys at the bottom, the one here on the left, it's just um, a fertilizer. It's good for vegetables. And the guy on the right has lime, which means it has uh, calcium and has magnesium in it, which is good for peppers because peppers, tomatoes, and a few other plants really need calcium and magnesium or else they'll develop rot and you'll lose your fruit. So we'll add those guys at the very end. All right, so first step, let's go ahead and dump one of our existing dirts in here, right? Doink. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like fun. So let's go ahead. Just a bunch of dirt, right? Yeehaw. Looks like we got him kind of, I don't know, broken up a little bit, right? Let's get some fun stuff in there now. We're just going to add some of this to it. We're not obviously trying to replace the potting soil 100% with this stuff. Looks kind of pretty. So 
this is the fun part here. Oh, make sure you have drainage holes. You can kind of see, possibly, that I've got the four. Uh, last year when we bought these things, we drilled uh, four big holes. But I'm not messing with my little, <laughs> little <laughs> mess there. These are the big shovel here, so we can uh, get some work done, right? We got stuff to do. But I do got my little, my little, see this boo-boo? What's that? It's a little prong. A rake? Rake looking thing. Got my little. Handheld rake. Got my little shovel here. All right, we have a big Bertha. So let's go ahead and um, get him going, right? What I've done here is I just cut these guys like this. Cut it on the other side. I don't want to damage the root ball. These things are root bound. You can see how it stays intact pretty good for the most part. I'll just cut down here, make it a little easier for me. Now I've done that. I'm just lean it back in my hand, pull the other part off, right? I like the ones that are like made out of a mill carton material and they just rot and fall apart because then you just plant the whole thing as is. So let's dig a little bit of a hole here for this guy, just a little bit. So, oh, funny note thing here. You know that um, soil conditioner I bought? It's basically composted dirt and all kinds of good stuff, right? Well, guess what? It's got earthworms in it. Amy feels like it's got the cooties now. Mm. She's like, eh. So she's a real farmer now. Let's go ahead and get some more dirt here. Homie don't play around. I get a shovel, I get the earth moving. So. Got that going. So the plant's intact. We're just going to go ahead and push it down in there a little bit. Believe me, his roots will find the dirt. Life will be good, right? I'm leaving a little bit of space down here. Um, we're going to go ahead and top it off with some stuff for right now. Straighten the plant. Well, we'll get him straight in a second, so that's good. All right, I get a big roll of this uh, Velcro that's a uh, color uh, green. Works good for these guys. And then uh, you just go ahead and get these stakes, however long you want. And you just cram them in here. And that's probably good enough. And then um, I'm just going to go one leaf up on this guy here. Kind of hold in place. Loosely holds it there. And then that way, when the wind blows and stuff, he's not going to fall over, right? When they get bigger, we'll put the big old tomato, you know, cages, like Godzilla, and that'll be good. So this guy is almost done, right? All right, we're going to have some goodies here. So this is the garden lime, just to make sure this guy gets um, some calcium and magnesium. You can use um, eggshells as well. Doesn't take much. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle around here. Probably enough for him. And there's just some fertilizer. Nice and stinky. Stinky one's the better, right? I'm gonna put some mulch here. Make sure I get that in there. This helps with water retention. Kill this poor plant here, don't I? Alright. It's not too sexy, but I got the job done. So. Yeehaw. Oh. And the final. Let's see. Job's not done until it's got your stamp of approval. Big Bertha.
Cooks. I hope you enjoy looking at our container garden uh, for 2020. Really excited to see what um, kind of stuff that we get out this year. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Love to have us join, have you join us on our journey to become better cooks. Also visit my Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook. And you can catch me on social media at Pinterest and Twitter, also at Amy Learns to Cook. I hope you have a great day and happy Wednesday. Go for it, boo. Timber. Ah! Huh. <laughs> that was exciting. That wasn't too exciting. <laughs>